There's a thin line between determination and desperation. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about approaching and acquiring clients and cash from the aspect of determination versus desperation, okay? Now let's go ahead and just define what these mean. Determination is just, it's just dogged persistence. Like you're, you're not gonna be denied. It's a freight train that cannot be stopped, okay? And desperation, or let me go back to determination real quick. As the saying goes, nothing can stop a determined will. It's very true. If you apply enough effort, consistency, and discipline to something, it's most likely going to happen. So that's just good news for you. Continue to be determined. But we'll talk about how this relates to uh, desperation in a second. But let's talk about desperation. Desperation is basically when you're dying, okay, and you will take anything that comes your way that could possibly bring you back to survival, okay? As the saying goes, the opposite of abundance is not scarcity, it is desperation, okay? You never, ever wanna be desperate, okay? We live in a world of inexhaustible resources despite what anyone may tell you. As the saying goes, in God's world, there is plenty, look at this nature that God made, there's plenty, okay? And another important thing to remember about desperation and why it's so bad is because when you give up being desperate, like if you're desperate for money, like, all right, pay me now, pay me now. You, you're just like, oh, send me the money now, or can you, can you pay me right now? And uh, I'll, I'll take 10% I'll take off if you pay me now. All that stuff, that's that desperation, it shows that you're sick. It shows that something's wrong with you. And honestly, people who want to work with people who are perfect, like that's just the truth. They want to work with someone who is seamless and is streamlined and it's easy. It, because, because there's something wrong with them. If they know something wrong is something wrong, if they know something is wrong with you, they'll be like, they're gonna stay away from you. Because like they need someone who doesn't, who isn't messed up. Because that goes back to that polarity, where I said in one of my videos, where like you want to always be the exact opposite of who you work with. So when you should, when you get off desperation, you're giving off loser energy, and it's just that like people are going to see that, and they're going to they're going to be repelled by it. So that's why you should never, ever come off desperate. Okay, come off determined. You come off as a winner. You come off strong, which is what people want. People are looking for strength, not weakness. Okay, you know to worry about. That's, uh, scarcity does, uh, is a lie. Um, the only thing that's really scarce is time. Okay, really think about it. Really sit down, think, and mull, and be pensive about this. Desperation is not true. So also, too, stay tuned for the very end for a surprise. Well, let's go into how we can possibly conflate the two when it comes to client acquisition and uh, just the approach to it. Okay, a lot of people when they get clients are like, especially when you first start out, you're like, man, I have to get this client, and you come in from the from the image of from the mindset of desperation like i need this person sometimes you do but as we just talked about there is plenty so you don't have to worry about is there going to be enough okay if someone doesn't like you you can just go in there and be like hey you know this is how i am but remember you have to remember first that if you're going to defeat desperation you have to understand we live in a world of abundance and operate from that mindset okay so if you're going to a client you're going for the mindset of desperation you're thinking oh my gosh i need this i need this i need this if i don't get it I'm going to die. That's the mindset behind desperation. Okay. So we operate that way. You're going to make bad decisions. As, they, as the saying goes, necessity never made a good bargain. When you need to sell something, you have like people out there, they need to sell their house immediately because something happened or whatever. It gets sold really cheap because the other buyer knows that they're desperate. Okay. Now on the flip side, determination, determination, if you're selling, if you're trying to get a client from the aspect of determination. It's like, you know what? It doesn't matter if this client says yes or the next client says no, or this client says no, I'm going to get clients. It is no matter what, it's going to happen. Okay, so determination thing, no matter what, it's going to happen. And desperation is, if I don't get this, I'm going to die. These are two attitude shifts, okay, that these are very important, you know. I mean, as corny as the saying is, the, the term, the phrase, your attitude determines your altitude, there's a lot of truth to that, okay. So these two monsters, these two different aspects of living, this juxtaposition between desperation and determination tend to come up when it comes to getting clients, when it comes to getting cash. I'll talk about a perfect example. One time somebody owed me money and I was like, I needed this money. Where it's getting to the part where it's like almost desperation. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get paid by this person, this person, that person, but you need to pay your stuff now. It's like, I just had to sit back and tell myself, hey, there's plenty it's gonna eventually come they always pay me every time this person this particular client was taking a long time to pay me 
And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna operate from scarcity. This is why it's so important your attitude, okay? Operate from scarcity. You're gonna operate from scarcity or abundance. As you're watching this channel, as you're watching this video right now, you either operate from scarcity or abundance, and abundance is better. As you can see on this line, abundance is better, okay? Than scarcity. You ever been in a desert? Which, which is better, this or a desert? I think it's, it'd be common. It'd be, you know, I think it would be fair to say that a lot of us watching this video would say, hey, it's better to have abundance. Okay, well, how do you get abundance? It starts from your mindset. The Bible says, he who has a bountiful uh, mind will be blessed, okay? Meaning that you see the abundance around you. You're aware of it. So you can get it, okay? So that's the cash part, the client part. You'd be talking to a client and during the interview process. And the desperation tends to come during the interview process. Okay, and saying to yourself, man, if I don't get this, X, Y, Z is going to happen. Okay, if I don't get this, I'm not going to be able to go on this trip. I'm not going to be able to help my family. Whatever the case may be. Okay? And like I said, to defeat it, you got to see things from the mindset of abundance. See yourself, I'm going to get a job no matter what. So there's a thin line between determination and desperation. Why? Because they both matter when it comes to the accumulation and the approach towards cash and clients, okay? Usually one of these two is gonna come in like, I will not be stopped is what determination says. And desperation says, if I don't get this, I'm gonna happen. So it's all based on, it's contingent, okay? Desperation and determination are related, okay? Because they're contingent on something happening, okay? The results, of determination and the results of desperation come from the fact that something is going to happen in the future based on some present action. Okay, that's why there's a thin line between determination and desperation. And also, too, desperation is better. There's a lot of bifurcations in life. Desperation, determination, abundance, scarcity, friend, foe, you can go on. And usually there's one that's better than the other. Unequivocally, determination is better then desperation when it comes to the acquisition and the approach towards clients and cash. Okay. You can't get cash without clients. So you have to, if you come with a mindset of determination, I'm not going to be stopped no matter what. I'm never going to give up. I have a lot of importunity. Fancy word for persistence. If I have a lot of importunity, I'm going to win. Basically, determination says no matter what, I'm winning. Desperation says if this doesn't happen today, I die. And the point is that there's almost very few times where you're really actually going to die. There's always resources around you. If you notice, even if it's not even money, time, people, ideas, these are all resources. Now, a lot of us, forget, we're all trained to think resources is just money. Absolutely not. That's one of a bevy of resources that exists in the natural world. Energy is a resource. Okay. So you always have something. You're never, almost never scarce. Okay. I get that thought of scarcity out of your mind. All right, and now let's go back to determination. You can basically, if determination is a stamp guaranteeing you're gonna win because you don't give up. So your only enemy ends up being you, okay? But there's a thin line between desperation and determination because they end up coming up when it comes about when it comes to getting something. And this relates to being self-employed. You know, there's people out there who are determined they're not gonna lose. There are people out there who are desperate and they're like, they're a step from losing. It's all started in their mind. They created it. Okay, so be determined and not desperate. Throw away desperation, it, it leads to bad things. Desperation and scarcity leads to a lot of bad things. And abundance leads to a lot of good things. Abundance leads to peace, calm, serenity. Half of the, a lot of the fights are in this world, the wars are happening because of scarcity. People are thinking, oh, we're finding this plot of land and it's not the only plot of land, but yeah, I can go on. But la lastly, apply this to your business. Apply the attitude of determination versus um, desperation to reach your destination okay all right and um this leads to today's surprise today's surprise is that if you want something you've never had before you gotta do something you've never done before okay a lot of people are desperate don't be desperate okay not desperate starts in your mind okay and lastly as always unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situations but successful people you hopefully make decisions based on where you want to be okay bye